Hey, hi, hello, and welcome. I am Christian Glass with Middle of Nowhere Gaming, here to talk to you about Fat Princess Adventures, the new game from Funbits Interactive and Sony Santa Monica Studio. Six years after the original Fat Princess, players return to the world of Great Bitten to save Princesses Muffin Top and Plump from the evil Bitter Queen. Players traverse the cute but violent land, defeating minions and eating cake along the way in this hack and slash PlayStation Network game. Players switch between four classes at any checkpoint, warrior, mage, archer, and engineer. The ability to mix and match your playstyle at any point adds variety to a two button attack system. Those that think the cute art style and simple gameplay equals an easy game, think again. The game is definitely meant to be played with partners, and those that don't will be forced to suffer waves of death to enemies that overpower and outrun you at first sight. Now all of this may sound like a negative, but in a time of non-stop AAA games with 100 hour campaigns, Fat Princess Adventures offers a cute and mindless substitute players and friends can jump in and out of at a whim. This sort of baby's first Diablo gameplay is made up for by a genuinely funny game, with enemies with names like Giru the Chopper and Skeletor. One of the highlights of the game is a dancing number a la The Little Mermaid, featuring a perfectly out of place Barry White song. Like it's enough. It's just not enough, baby. It's just not enough. In addition, there's nothing backbreaking about the game, but there are little things that start to add up. Trying to open a chest may take a few tries, and the subtitles rarely match what's being said. This isn't an epic campaign with a skill tree and speech options. It's a crude, sarcastic, 10 to 15 hour experience where you get equipment, you level it up, and you move on to the next baddie. After playing through the seven chapters, players have the option to redo them in the grind house, which adds up to three additional requirements for the mission. Platinum hunters will note that this is a fairly straightforward 100% completion if you enjoy the game. So to recap, the $20 price point feels a few dollars too many for what most people will use as a simple one and done run. But if you've got some friends, a free afternoon, and a few dollars each, it's absolutely worth the playthrough. The humor and simplicity are perfect for casual fun, but repetitiveness and minor miscues limit it from being much else. I give the game a seven out of 10. For more game reviews and news, check us out at middleofnowheregaming.com.